Hey guys, welcome to CR90 Designers. This is Chetan, and in this Blender tutorial, we are going to create a hard surface design. So, without further ado, let's get started. To make the model, we need to add a cube. So, Shift A, add a cube. Then you need to go to the edit mode and then select this corner words and then Ctrl B and then press B to add the bevel on the words. And then you need to select everything, press M and merge by distance. The next thing you need to select this edges and you need to add the bevel on this edges. So Ctrl B and then add a bevel, add a two segment bevel add there, give the right bevel width. After that you need to add the loop cuts like this and then select these faces, right click and then loop tool and use the circle option. Then add a words at the bottom side like this, then select these words, then right click and then connect vertex path. Create a path in between the words. Then you need to select these words and you need to scale these words along the x and y axis and you need to try to match that circle that cylindrical shape which we have created at the top now it looks little bit weird so that's why we need to create a path in between the words as like this so just select the words right click connect vertex path and create a path in between the words now you can see that's look good now you need to select this edges with the shift select and then Control b and then add a bevel add a four segment bevel add there and give the right bevel width okay now we need to create the right topology at here so that's why you need to add the words like this then select the words right click connect vertex path then add one word here then select the words right click connect vertex path just try to create that right chord based topology at there so we can maintain the good form on the model so you can see in this way you need to create the right topology add there. Then you need to select everything and then mesh and then take the symmetry along the x and y axis. So here also I need to create the similar kind of topology so that's why you need to add the loop cuts like this and then select the words right click connect vertex path. You don't need to worry about that top surface we will use the loop tool add there so just create a right topology add there okay now that's look good so just you need to take the symmetry so that's why mesh and then symmetrize take the symmetry along the x and y axis after that you need to select the top face and then right click loop tool and then circle option now you need to add the supporting loop cuts like this then select that top edge and then Ctrl X to dissolve the edges. Then you need to extrude that face along the Z axis. And then add a support to loop cuts at the bottom side also. So just select that edge loop and then press S, Z and give the value 0 and scale it along the Z axis and make it flat. Then select everything and move it along the Z axis. As like this. Now you need to add the sub-D modifier on it and then add supportive loop cuts as like this. Just increase the sub-D count up to 2 and then shear smooth it. So you can see I can dissolve this edge loop and I can add the bevel add there. So just select that edge loop and then Ctrl B and then add a bevel add there. To get that smooth curved surface we need to add a 2 segment bevel add there. So just add that bevel. So we will get a decent silhouette and decent curve structure. Now you can see that looks pretty well. Then you can add few more loop cuts at there. Now just select that top face and then delete that top face. And now we need to add another object. So you can see here are 32 words. You can see these words with the help of statistics. So there are 32 words. And we need to add a rounded cube and then operator preset should be chord sphere. You don't need to worry about the vertex count because this chord sphere has 32 word vertex count. Okay, now just turn on your extra mode, select this bottom faces and then delete this bottom faces. Then you need to give the right scale to this rounded cube, that chord sphere. And now you need to connect these two objects together. So how we can do that? Just move that chord sphere along the z-axis little bit then select both object and then join them together and then select the edge loops and then use the bridge edge loop. And now you can see we are getting the little bit of weirdness at there uh, because the previous edge loops so that's why we need to dissolve these edge loops and we need to add another new edge loops at there. 
as like this and you can see that's look well and then take the symmetry along the z-axis so here we need to set the origin to the 3d cursor so just set the origin to the 3d cursor then select everything and then mesh and then symmetrize take the symmetry along the z-axis as like this now you need to dissolve this extra edge loops then you need to turn on the extreme mode and then select these words and move these words along the z-axis and then you can take the symmetry along the z-axis now you can see we are getting the smooth mesh add there after that you need to add the sub-d modifier add there and increase the count up to 2 and now you can see that looks pretty well now just we need to create more details on the model so that's why you can add the loop cuts like this and then you need to add few loop cuts at here and then you need to select these faces and then you need to press i for the insert operation and then right click and then loop tool use the circle option add there so you will get these circular faces and then just turn the transform orientation to the normal and just move these faces along the y-axis it's normal y-axis okay after that you need to select these faces and then press i for the insert operation and then you need to extrude it along its normal as like this and just create a decent boolean details add there just add the supporting loop cuts with the help of insert operation and now you can see that looks really well okay now we need to take the symmetry so that's why select everything take the symmetry along the x and y axis so mesh and then symmetrize take the symmetry and now you can see that looks pretty well so now I will add more details on it so that's why I just select this edge loop you need to select this mid edge loop that center edge loop and after that you need to scale this edge loop along the z axis so press s and then z after that you need to select these faces with the shortest path selection and then press i for the insert operation and then extrude these faces along their normal as like this so e to extrude it along its normal and then you need to add this kind of loop cuts okay now you can see that looks well then select these edge loops and then control b and then add bevel on these edge loops and then press i for the insert operation and then press alt s add there to scale it along its normal and use the insert operation one more time and create a little bit of details then select these faces and then use the insert operation and you can create this kind of details which looks pretty well just need to add more supportive loop cuts add there so you can see that looks really well okay after that select everything and then mesh and then take the symmetry along the z-axis now i will try to add more details on it So I want to add more details at here so I can select the faces with the shortest path selection at here. So you need to select this corner faces with the shortest path selection. Select the faces for all sides or you can take the symmetry also and then use the insert operation add there. Now you can see we are facing the little bit of weirdness add there so that's why we need to select these words. And we need to scale them along the z-axis and give the value 0 to make it flat along the z-axis. And that looks really well. So just do the same step with the bottom side. And you will get this kind of design. And now just you need to add the supporting loop cuts as like this. Which looks really well. Just add these kind of supporting loop cuts to maintain that structure. And use the scale tool to scale it along the z-axis and make it flat that edge loop. Then you can select everything and then mesh and then symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the x, y and then z axis. And now you can see that looks well but I need to add more loop cuts at there. So just dissolve these edge loops and then add new edge loops at there. After that, to avoid the pinching issue, I need to add the loop cut at here. So just go to the normal and then turn off that auto smooth. And now the design looks well, but I need to add the loop cuts at here to avoid that pinching issue. So just add the loop cuts like this and 
here also you need to add the loop cut then select the words right click and then connect vertex path and use the redirection of each flow to create that loop structure at there and then you can take the symmetry along the x and y axis and you can dissolve the extra edge loops at there which are destroying that chord spear form so just select the words right click connect vertex path and then dissolve these edge loops and just create a right loop structure at there so you can maintain the good form on that chord spear also on its curved surface as well as you can maintain that loop structure to maintain that form which we have created right now that design so just repeat this step for all the sides and you can take the symmetry along the x and y axis So in this way you can create this kind of model. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. See so you next video. Take care.